Hi everybody! This is Miss Dawn from the Cats Branch of the Porter County Public Library System. Today I am going to read to you one of my favorite stories. It's almost 200 years old, but it is still one of my favorites and I am sure that you have heard it many, many times. It is, Twas the Night Before Christmas by Clement C. Moore. Now this particular book is illustrated by Lauren Wong. Are we ready? Now there will be some parts of the story that I'll need your help, so be ready. <gasps> Twas the night before Christmas. <gasps> Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Can we be very quiet and still? Oh, that's wonderful. You did a good job. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care and hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. <sighs> When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what do my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer? Can you hold up eight fingers for me? Oh, that is perfect. Wonderful. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. If you know this part of the story, please say it with me. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. And as dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. And as I drew in my head and was turning around, guess what? Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. Can you make your eyes twinkle? His dimples, how merry. His cheeks, were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. <gasps> the stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Let's all laugh like Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, good job. He was chubby and plump. All right, jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye. Let's have you wink. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to his team, gave a whistle. <whistles> Can you whistle? Oh, that's so excellent. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, 
Can you say it with me? Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Oh, isn't that a fun story? And I love the fact that we could do the motions together. <gasps> well, our craft is available at all five branches of the Porter County Public Library System. And it is a very fun and easy craft. And it is a mouse ornament. <gasps> Can you see that? All supplies except glue are included in your kit. You will have a teardrop shaped piece of felt two googly eyes, a black pom-pom nose, and the fun thing is a candy cane. And you will also have a rectangular piece of felt. Now, I love this. What you will do, you will take your glue, and you will put lots of glue on the tip of your teardrop. Then you will place that on there. And you can let it dry for a few minutes. I'm not going to because we're going to complete this craft. Then you will take the googly eyes. Again, lots of glue. And you will put them on there. And again, you might want to let this dry for a little bit. And then it should look like that. Hmm, what's he missing? You're right, he is missing his ears. So you will take your rectangle piece of felt, kind of fold it in half, and you will have two slits. Can you see my finger poking through? One, two. You'll have two slits and you will just, with a folded half, just place that through one side of your slit and then pull it out on the other. And your kit will have instructions on how to do this. And then that is his ears. And you can adjust his ears any way you would like to. Then... You will take your candy cane, and as you can see, again, I'm going to poke my finger through one slit, two slits, and you will poke it from the back like that, and then I'm going to just pull out my ears just a little bit and slip it through, can you see? Like that. And then you have a delicious ornament to hang on your tree. I'm going to hang these on the library tree. Wonderful. Well, before we go, I think we have time for a song. That's right. Jingle bells. I'm going to use my bells. If you have bells, you can use them. If not, you can clap your hands or whatever you want to do. Tap your feet. Are we ready? <gasps> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse soap and play. Yay! All righty, well, thank you for coming along and listening to our story. Everybody have a happy holiday. Goodbye!